What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm still trying to recover from my like severe infection over here, so I'm, I'm trying to be as excited as I can. But you know we have been working on Dance of Knives the, this entire PTR, and this has been like my favorite thing to do because God DH was my favorite thing in Diablo 3, and now it's back. We've already made multiple videos on it, but we got to make another one. So I got to give a huge shout out to Wuju, uh, because now this is what's going around, and this is what is basically going to be the best Dance of Knives build. I really thought that I had something here with the alchemical admixture, um, and really trying to do the different types since it's the brand new one, and it can still work. It's just not as strong. So we all thought that Momentum was going to be the best one. And yes, Momentum is perfectly fine. You can definitely do all content with this. Um, you can't really push super high in the pit, at least on the PTR with either one of these, at least in my testing. But now Victimize is back. Okay, we did briefly test this and now this is back, but it is a for sure thing. So big shout out to him. He's I'm a big, big fan. So we're just sharing the news here. Uh, but Victimize is back and it definitely works hand over fist. So um, we're going to go through and just highlight this. I'm not going to go too in depth, but um, if you want to check out his video and his planner, like fully explaining everything. So that way you can get a, a better understanding than by all means. But we're going to go in here and do this pit. We're going to do a 70 real quick and just showcase this thing because besides Spiritborn, this is probably what I'll be playing next season. Like, I'm going to get through Spiritborn as fast as I can so I can come play and farm with this. Unless there's something that Spiritborn does that's just insane. But now, if you're like me, which a lot of players are, this build, and I'm just one hand in it here, I like easy builds. I like builds where I don't have to think too hard. You know, I like builds where I can just chill. You know, I come home after work or something and I just want to relax and farm up some materials you know whatever the case is and I can just blast you know what I mean I always, I've loved that in any ARPGs that I've played and it's by far the best way to play in Diablo so you can see here you're just holding down Dance of Knives and it just absolutely destroys everything there's nothing that I can do I'm not even using any other skills right now because it's so dang strong um, now I've gotten this up to like pit 90. I know it can do, do T100. I'm pretty sure I saw Wuju or Rax. Um, oh, Deoxide also clear. Pretty sure Deoxide did. Um, but it can definitely do all content in the game. No problem whatsoever. I'm not even going to grab the, the shrine. And you just get to sit back, relax, and just have the best time in Diablo 4 that we could have ever asked for. Adam Jackson didn't give me multi-shot. Instead, he gave me God DH, and it is fantastic. And you can see we stagger the boss really quick, and then it just dies. Super easy. The build is fantastic. I mean, there's, there's no other way to put it. This is the most fun I've had since Heartseeker last season. And Heartseeker, actually, shout out to Deoxide, Heartseeker is still very, very strong. Um, it was still strong last season that we figured out how to do it with the Pain Gorgers, and now it is back again with Victimize. So Dance of Knives is very, very strong. The cool thing about this build is that you don't need too many items. So, like, yeah, Tyrios is fine, but you don't have to have Tyrios. You can have a regular chess piece. And you can rock um, some stuff in. I will say, though, that Tyrials might be one of the best items next season. Because there's so many people that are going to struggle with the resistances. So once Tyrials might you have, you just, you're all set. And then you get to armor and it's, it's a no-brainer. Uh, and my version is actually pretty weak in comparison to some others. But essentially, guys, just like our old um, Heartseeker video from last season... All you're going to want to do is stack vulnerable damage and you want to stack dexterity. That is it. You don't even need Doombringer. Doombringer helps, but you do not need it. You could just rock another sword or two daggers, whatever you want. Stack vulnerable damage, stack dexterity, get GA dexes, all this stuff. It's super easy to play. 
Um, and then you just hold down Dance Knives and just spin to win, and it's the best thing in the world. So um, we rock Intersight there for a lot of the procs. Again, Victimize, I have a very low 2.1 million damage on my Victimize, which is very low. I really like that they show that it's damage now instead of like a percent. I kind of like that. I still wish we're going to find something for the alchemical admixture, but yeah, the build is pretty straightforward here. It's not, there's nothing too difficult about this. It's still remnants of the normal, um, like heart seeker with all the victimized normal stats, right? Um, instead we're not doing damage with dance of knives. So keep that in mind. We're not doing damage with dance of knives. Everything comes from the proc of victimize. And we stack up a lot of stuff here with the, some of the new passives um, for increased damage, which is great. Um, we stack a lot of stuff here. We could even add more. Um, we could even take this away if we wanted to and add more crit strike chance. Even though the crit strike chance doesn't really help us with victimize proccing. So, um, yeah, there's that. Weapon mastery doesn't help in the build. But yeah, this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to leave a link down to Wuju's stuff and uh, the planner and everything down in the description, guys. But one other thing that really um, is fascinating is we want to stack as much dexterity as we... Or not dexterity, vulnerable damage as we can. So chip, exploit, diminish are these three nodes or legendary glyphs that all stack vulnerable damage, which is very, very important in this build. Um, control is great, but these three are stacked in here. We're only at four boards, um, which is fine. So we're working towards the fifth board. Again, we do got to make another video talking about this because it is a big problem. But um, yeah, guys, Victimize is back, thank God. And Dance of Knives is just by far the funnest build that I've played in this entire PTR with other classes and whatnot. It's the most brain dead build. Um, you just get to do everything and we're in torment four and you can just destroy everything. There's no piece of content that you can't do. Like you can go do hell tides. You can go do the bosses. Um, you can do tormented bosses. It's super easy to do. We stagger very quickly. The build is by far going to be one of the best next season. As long as they don't nerf it and make sure you guys go get your, uh, your new pets and we're doing millions of damage. Hundreds of millions. And you just spin, man. Now, I will say one thing. So you guys remember how the Whirlwind build, um, you could tap it. So there is a bug. It has been reported with Dance of Knives. So if I just tap it, I will never go below six. So basically, you could infinite, infinitely dance. But if I hold it, you guys will notice I start to lose my charges there. But if I tap it... It doesn't go away. So I, it's already been reported to the devs. I'm pretty sure this is going to be fixed. Um, but if they overlook it or whatnot, then yeah, then you're going to be fine. But this is going to be one of the best farming builds for Rogue next season. And it's still a very, very powerful build, even in leveling. So I wanted to showcase this to you guys and just pass it along. Um, so big shout out to Wuju for doing this because I've been working on the alchemical version, which is still fun. But this is obviously you know 10x better probably 20x better with victimize so i'm happy just to see this and see rogue thrive so now that this is here we are a rogue main on the channel so here we go we've uh, converted we we pledged our allegiance it is what it is so yeah guys uh go check out the link down in the description okay uh be safe like comment let's get this over 100 likes let's spread it around we need more rogues in the game Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.